Hello and welcome to the Fast Reports Academy. In this video, I will show you the basics of building a report within Fast Report VCL. So, right now I have opened the report designer. On the right, you can see the report data. In the middle, there's the page we'll be working with, and all around it are the panels full of various menus and instruments that will help you with different features of Fast Report VCL. Let's start by adding a band. If you're creating your report from a template, there will be a couple of bands already added. But for this demonstration, I will add everything manually. The first band we'll need is the report title. Find the insert band button on the object panel and choose the necessary band. After that, add a page header, a master data band, adding it will automatically open a data source dialog. And finally, a page footer. If we preview the report now, we'll see two empty pages. The pages are empty due to the fact that we haven't added any objects to the report, and there's two of them, because there's a band connected to data, which repeats for every database entry. So, let's compose the report's contents. The report title band will have a wide memo with text saying customers. I'll change the text size, make it bold, and center it with these two buttons. This will be the default settings for the next memo you add, so be mindful of that. Now let's add a memo that displays data. It should go onto the master data band. Choose a field from the report data and drag it onto the band. Additionally, you can add an empty memo object and add the data reference from this menu. Now we'll need to reset the properties, so this text doesn't look like a title. And after this, we can preview the report. As you can see, the two pages are now populated by a list of companies. Some of them are longer than our memo's width, and so they're displayed incorrectly. There are two ways of fixing this. Either resize the memo to the biggest acceptable size, or enable the auto-width property, which will adapt the width to the string's length. Let's add some more fields in the same manner. And now we have a report with several fields being displayed together. We can improve the way it looks. Copy the memos you've added, put them onto the page header band, and replace the text by the labels. So now it's obvious what field the data represents. You can also customize how those header memos look. For example, you can add a subtle gray background and a line on the bottom. And now the page footer. Add a memo to this band, and in the text editing dialog, proceed to the variables section. Using an expression page page of total pages, you can create a page counter on the bottom of each page. So let's preview how this looks, and here the footer is. We can also make it look better. For example, let's stretch the memo, align it to the right side, and add a top line to it. And now the report works and looks as it should. This was today's lesson on Fast Report VCL. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. And be sure to check out other videos on the channel, in which we demonstrate Fast Report VCL and our other products in detail. You can find all the playlists in the description.